have a, a personal relationship in my life with a young indigenous male uh, who's been in and out of the criminal justice system, you know, aged out of foster care, part of the 60s scoop, has been a long time crystal meth user. And, you know, I had a conversation with him again, you know, he's incarcerated again last night and we were talking and I started talking about safer supply and what that meant, you know, and he had absolutely no idea that things like this existed, but rather he gets stuck in the perpetual cycle of, uh, you know, being in jail and uh, being um, criminalized uh, for, you know, simple theft charges that relate to just get meeting his basic needs, right? And, and those, those are the conversations that we need to have, that there are options, safer supply options, so that we're not just seeing a cycle of people that are filtering through the criminal justice system, like living, doing these life sentences on little installments uh, just to get their basic needs met.